supply a certain level of skill or training. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Well, we used to say, look what the cat dragged in, but that's not exactly the way we should say it. Jonathan actually cleans up pretty nice. Laura Harrington, Jonathan Bogert join us here this morning. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Well, Laura represents the Indiana County Tourist Bureau. And when Jonathan here, it's usually on behalf of the Indiana County Historical and Genealogical Society. So if the two of them are in the, two, in the studio together, there must be a connection, Laura. There must be. Our connection goes way back. But, um, yeah, it's a great uh, partnership. Mm-hmm. goes hand in hand with promoting Indiana County and all the great assets that we have in our county and our tremendous history. So welcome, Jonathan. Thanks for joining me on the show today. Um, you're gonna... you're you're not allowed to look away over toward Jonathan as you're talking because that takes your voice right away from me and and over to him. <laughs> but I need okay. you here, Laura. Okay, all right. Yeah. So we've there's an event coming up. There is an event coming up, yeah. and I'll let Jonathan uh, introduce the events because they have. Uh, well, go ahead, Jonathan. Yes. And thank you for dragging me in this morning, Laura. Appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, Todd, thanks for uh, having us on. Good. Uh, yes. Good you're here. So uh, the society's annual meeting is coming up, and typically over the past couple of years, we like to have a program to go with that. And we've been looking at ways to celebrate and honor different milestones for different uh, organizations and groups within Indiana County. So last year, if you recall, it was 100 years for Ferguson Funeral Home. Mm-hmm. This year is the anniversary of the founding of the Indiana County Tourist Bureau. So with that milestone, uh, the Historical Society wants to honor the Tourist Bureau at that program and help to discuss the history, to make it more uh, visible, and to show just all the amazing things that have been done through the organization over the years. And uh, our organizations have actually overlapped a couple times in the past. Um, We were actually roommates in the Clark House at one time. Oh, yeah. Uh, The Tourist Bureau operated out of one of the parlors, and the the Historical Society was in the other. So um, you can still still see all the phone lines running down in the basement, Mark, Tourist Bureau, Historicals, et cetera. So uh, there's definitely remnants of that partnership there. That probably won't be part of the tour coming up. Uh, no, unfortunately. Take tour uh, groups down to see the phone lines? No, lo, lo, <laughs> low head space, and I'd say it's not exactly the most popular thing on most people's <laughs> list. But that's going to be October 19th. Um, mm-hmm. That's going to be a Thursday, and the program will start at 6.30. And Laura and I will actually be... Uh, co-presenting a program on the history of the Tourist Bureau and its impact on the area. Mm -hmm. We'll be looking at just different uh, uh, events that have happened over the years, different festivals, uh, people who helped to found both of the organizations, and um, we're going to have some food. It's going to be since uh, the Tourist Bureau was founded in the 1960s, there will be 1960s-themed Cuisine, we'll say, along yeah. with a special mixed drink, that uh, cocktail. Wow. So, yes. Well, Laura, are you bringing back some of the, some of the old folks that used to work with you? I or? hope some of the folks will come out and help us celebrate. It's always great to hear the stories from former board members or even Queen Evergreens. So mm-hmm. if you know of anyone who was associated with the Tourist Bureau over the past 60 years in some form or fashion, helps share this word to come out to the Historical Society, the Armory Building on October 19th at 6.30, and and just uh, just help us to celebrate yes, <laughs> and so. reminisce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it'll be a fun time. How many years are we celebrating here? 60 years. 1963, the commissioners officially uh, dubbed the Indiana County Tourist Bureau as the official tourist promotion agency for mm-hmm. the county. And I bet you've been doing a lot of research, you and Jonathan and everybody else, about the history and and the people involved. It is so neat. Mm-hmm. Uh, so many members of our community have been involved over mm-hmm. the years, and it's fitting because this is our community, and yeah. the folks and the organizations who do so much for our community and add so much to our quality of life that's why our organization exists to promote those those great events and 
organizations. Jonathan, so. I bet you've found some pretty neat events that have been uh, a part of this of, of the Tourist Bureau and, and Indiana County down through the years, too. Yes, and a lot of those current events, even the ones Laura's talking, will talk about today, eventually become historic events and things that we look back at mm-hmm. and we say, well, I remember when my dad was involved in this or my mom baked cookies for this event here. So, uh, But in our research, actually, it's interesting you bring that up because – We've been looking at old photographs and Uh old newspaper articles and old programs and looking back to when the Tourist Bureau celebrated its 50th anniversary. There's a a very nice uh, pamphlet that was put together on who all of the founding members were, the initial uh, proclamation, everything there. So, uh, But the photographs are probably my favorite thing to look at. Uh, We had a meeting the other day, and Laura and I were looking at just – pictures of we were looking at looking at the setting and saying well what event is this taking place at and uh-huh. uh, i think the whole office kind of got involved because we were looking at a picture where there was it's a wonderful life uh a lighting and there was a building in the back and we thought well where could this be and it was actually before they built the new uh s and t headquarters here mm-hmm. there was the old s and t headquarters in the back and it was identified so just looking through those uh, photographs of like the New Growth Arts Festival, a lot of the Christmas tree tours, uh, buses that came to the area, and just kind of piecing that together yeah. and lining it up with things that were going on in the newspaper uh, and being broadcast other, otherwise. I bet you there were a few ideas uh, that were maybe uh, the seeds were planted when you were looking at that as well. It's it, And it's funny you bring that up because the seeds were planted. Um, really, the uh, Tourist Bureau was created with some uh, community members who rallied around the Christmas trees, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, And they, they had festivals, candlestick tours. Folks would come from all around, and they would party, celebrate, yeah. have food, and, and have car shows, and a lot of similar events that we still have today in our in our county yeah Um, so this event is coming up again jonathan what day uh, thursday october 19th and -hmm. that's going to be at 6 30 p.m and it is uh, free to attend we encourage members of the community who were involved with the tourist bureau in the past uh, or want to just hear about its history to come to this uh, free event at the historical society yeah yeah sounds like it'll be a lot of fun great reminiscing uh, going on yes at the time too (laughs) You never know who's going to show up at an event like that, do you? You don't. No. And you're invited. There you go. There you go. What else is going on, Laura? Well, here we are at the end of September, and there's a lot happening right this weekend. There's a great uh, events concert tonight at the Kowalczyk Complex, Mm -hmm. Aaron Lewis. If you have a chance to get out and hear that, it's a great live music uh, event. Friday at the Artist Hands Gallery, they're having an open uh, lit night. Return of that is, is nice to see again. Uh, Aging Services is launching their art show, is on display at their event hall, so that you can uh, enjoy during the day or over the weekend. Scary Harry's is back operating again uh, this weekend, so Scary Harry's Haunted Trails, and it's a, for a frightenly good time. There you go. <laughs> There you go. It's that season. At the Indiana Theater, there's a band, Alex Mexner Band, and this is a lead into the Oktoberfest event that is happening on Saturday, downtown Indiana's October event. But the Alex Mexner Band is a very high energy polka band. Yeah. So that's rock, rock and roll polka. Is that is it rock and roll polka? It, we'll find out. He's really good. Are we allowed to dance there? You you have a blast. <laughs> yeah. You've heard them before? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Yarnick's had them out for, for their festival. Oh, festivals. right, right. Yeah. So that should be a really great show. Uh, on Saturday, Lone Oak Farm, they're having their last vendors on the porch. So Lone Oak Farm is a special spot out in the Marion Center area. Uh, farm to table and uh, handcraft vendor show on their, on their porch. So get mm-hmm. one last chance to visit them um, for that vendor show. They'll be open year-round, but... Um, this is a special Saturday for them. I mentioned the S&T Bank Oktoberfest on Saturday. Uh, that, that'll be happening on 8th Street in the parking lot there from 3 to 6 p.m. Get out and support our community and, and downtown Indiana. When we go out and support these events, we're helping our community just thrive and look sure. beautiful, and we all love 
how beautiful the downtown looks, and our visitors comment all the time about how lovely our uh, downtown area yeah, is. Very nice. But then even out in the in the countryside, uh, I love here in the conservation district talking about their Apple Fest coming up. Mm-hmm. That's a really pretty location uh, over there off of Hamill Road. And let's go make some apple uh, cider. There you go. What a fun, fun afternoon. Uh, but that's that's not this weekend. Um, this weekend, the Fox Clark Gallery is having their grand opening on Saturday evening. Mm-hmm. So you can go to the Oktoberfest. You can go visit this new, beautiful art gallery, uh, which complements the Artist Hand Gallery. So we have a um, a nice community of artisans and we can celebrate them uh, the indiana theater on saturday evening also will be offering poeming through the dark so mm-hmm. that's a form of art in itself sure opportunity to get out and read something or listen to some some good uh, poetry from folks and speaking about uh, theater the indiana players are starting up their shakespeare team once again so they're having their first organizational meeting on Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Philadelphia Street Playhouse. And they're looking for students grades 4 through 12 to compete. So if you know of any young young folks who are interested. Young thespians. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, and then Sunday, speaking of the Historical Society, there's a really uh, interesting event happening out at Blue Spruce Park. Jonathan, would you like to share? Oh, sure. That's going to be Sunday, October 1st, and we're having a run through history 5K, and it's a run slash walk. So if you don't want to run, um, you're more than welcome to just take in the sights and, and the seasons of Blue Spruce Park. Mm-hmm. But that's uh, Sunday, and the race starts at 9 a.m. Um, there's a registration through our website if you're interested. Uh, but there will be costumed, uh, historically costumed people around the race course, and uh, it'll be a nice way to sort of kick off October events for there you the go. Uh, society. But it's uh, nice to be able to contribute something uh, to the uh, long calendar of events there, so <laughs> it's quite extensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're just about out of time, but, Laura, if people want to learn about these events or any others, there's an easy way to do that, isn't yes, there? Yes, sure. Visit our website www.visitindianacountypa.org or stop in our office to our office in the Indiana Mall. We can give you some more information. Don't forget about Rieger's Pumpkin Festival. That's yeah. kicking off as well. They, mm-hmm. I just drove by there and there are pumpkins and mums and a lot of uh, neat things happening there. Uh, there'll be a corn maze also. Rustic Ranch Pumpkin Patch and the Jimmy Stewart Museum will be having a Hitchcock Film Festival for the whole month of October. There's a lot happening through our uh, county, so get out and enjoy and support our community. Um, the Ox Hill Fair is having a benefit pool for the Rummel family, and that is on October 8th. We are out of time. Okay. It's Indiana in the morning. It's WCCS. Hey, Dad, what's it like at International Conveyor and Rubber? Every day is a challenge. Really? How's that? Well, see, most every big company depends on moving material from point A to point B. That can be a problem. ICR analyzes, installs, and maintains solutions to these problems. International Conveyor and Rubber. We are a solution provider. So, do you like working there?